They called me one shot Loretta because I just zipped through the recipes and we got them done. I've lived for 75 years, that helps. <laughs> so, uh, but really having grown up around, you know, my mom and her four sisters and my grandmas and all of that, I really grew up in a kitchen. So between the kitchens and the gardens, uh, really kind of there was a deep seated uh, appreciation and some really interesting knowledge being, you know, fed into my little young brain. It took a few years for those seeds to take root <laughs> and blossom, and that's when I really started pursuing um, more knowledge about the indigenous foods of the Americas. I've done quite a bit of TV work before, uh, but this is exciting. It's uh, little short cooking demos that are targeting our elders, uh, their caregivers and families. Uh, so really basic, um, easy to cook at home, easy to access uh, ingredients. We wanted to do something that was pretty pan-Indian, so we did, of course, the Three Sisters, uh, corn, beans, and squash, and it's a nice uh, cold salad that I do uh, with uh, roasted corn, uh, a variety of beans, uh, summer squashes, and then the friends that I added were quinoa and wild rice. Uh, so we had some really beautiful uh, hand-gathered Ojibwe wild rice and quinoa, and it just makes a gorgeous salad. It's very colorful, uh, really quite delicious. And then we did buffalo. <laughs> so we did a buffalo meatloaf. Uh, that was my son Clay's recipe when we had the restaurants in Santa Fe. And so we did a wonderful uh, buffalo with buffalo, and instead of cracker crumbs, breadcrumbs, and all of that, we used a really nice dry quinoa. It's really about trying to, you know, get the seed savers together and really reclaim this food as our own for the good of our own people and then hopefully get it out there and get other people eating a little bit better. We're an oral tradition people, so when those stories of how to do things are not being passed from generation to generation, they get lost. It's about getting the food to the people who need the food. And most certainly our elders um, uh, are, are in some pretty desperate straits. Affordability of fresh food, um, getting the fresh food to them so that we can hear those stories and keep this culture alive.